Dirty facts about ancient Greece you didn't know. Once a year in Athens, the city's streets turned into a lively parade of, well, you guessed it, phalluses. Men and women proudly paraded through town, hoisting colossal phalli in the air to pay homage to their wine-loving deity, Dionysus. It was all part of a Dionysian bash, where people got as drunk as a skunk and led a naughty phallic procession to the temple, serenading their way with songs about private parts and cracking risque jokes at unsuspecting folks. But wait, there's more. Slaves in ancient Greece endure something called called infibulation. That meant that metal rings were snugly wrapped around their genitals, making any form of excitement a painful endeavor. And the only way to release the lock was with a special key. Talk about a real-life escape room. Now, for the grand finale of absurdity, sneezing as a birth control method. Yes, you read that right. The Greek physician Soranus once advocated that post-lovemaking, all a woman needed to do was squat, sneeze, and rinse, and voila, no pregnancy. It's like they were taking a chew to a whole new level of contraception.